Hello and welcome to Front Runner Motorsport. We have been looking at the Macau Grand Prix of the past so far this week, but now we look at the Grand Prix of the future. Well, a couple of days into the future anyway. Let's do a rundown of every team and driver racing in this year's Macau Grand Prix, the first since 2019 to be a Formula 3 race. Due to world events, the last few have been won by locals under Formula 4 rules. Sadly, no Asian drivers whatsoever in this year's race, but we do have nine teams with 26 drivers about to take to the mean tight streets of Macau in pursuit of glory. So make sure you subscribe and watch all my Macau videos from this past week and the ones to come. And let's jump right in. Trident. Richard Vashore was the last driver to win the Macau Grand Prix in a pre-COVID world and now the Formula 2 race winner returns to try and make it too. It's a shame he didn't get a chance to go for consecutive wins in this race but at least now he has a chance to join the small percentage of drivers to win more than one. He's won Macau before, he has won three Formula 2 races in the last few years, he has to be one of the favourites. Roman Stanek has been unimpressive on his way through the junior Formula ranks. He's won a handful of races on his way to Formula 2, but has had a tough year with Trident down in 18th in the standings. Lucky to get a top 10. The final Trident driver is the comparatively young Ugo Ugochukwu, a driver definitely worth watching. He threw away the UAE F4 title at the start of the year, but took his first championship in the Euro 4 series with Prema and will be racing for the Italian team in Formula Regional European in 2024. Next year is more likely to be his year. Genza. Max Esterson has been pretty average in GB3 for the last couple of years and was thrust into Formula 3 by Carlin for a few races way too early in his career. I don't see him winning this somehow. I don't know if Charlie Wirtz is really good or pretty naff. He won the 2022 UAE F4 Championship and Formula Regional Oceania earlier this year, but then he struggled in Formula Regional European, switched mid-season to Euro Formula, where he won a race but didn't exactly excel. This is either going to be a chance to bounce back or further proof that he was not as good as I previously thought. Finally, we have a rare Peruvian race driver in Matthias Sagazeta, a driver I seem to recall crashing quite a lot in Formula Regional European, he has been pretty low-key in Formula Regional and is not going to be winning the Macau Grand Prix, but you'll probably see him in Formula 3 in 2024. Prema Racing Will Dino Boganovic ever live up to the hype? Well, now would be a good time to do it. I have to call him one of the favourites because Dino Boganovic really needs this feather in his cap. Another year of Formula 3, whilst it looks like your 2023 Prema Formula 3 teammates will be moving up to Formula 2, that's got to hurt. One of those teammates was Paul Aaron, the Estonian really impressed in his first Formula 3 campaign and again like Boganovic should be considered a favourite. Gabriel Mini was not as good at Formula 3 as his two teammates here but he will be joining Boganovic at Prema for 2024. All three of these drivers finished up pretty close together in 2023 so any of them could be a top contender in Macau but Boganovic really needs this. High Tech Luke Browning is a champion in GB3. He had a tough year in Formula 3 but it had its high points, second place in Catalonia being the best of them. He's good, but midfield quality at best here. Alex Dunn will have been disappointed to finish runner-up in GB3 in 2023, but he is a really good driver and he could be the shock of this race. The Irishman could follow in the footsteps of countryman Ralph Furman by taking victory in Macau and moving on up to Formula 3 in 2024. I thought very highly of Isaac Hadjar. He has won races in almost every series he has been in, even technically Formula 2, but it was the cancelled Zandvoort race that no points were awarded for and kind of doesn't count. He has never been a champion, he got a podium in Formula 2, but has made a lot of mistakes and I would put money on him being the first crash in the 2023 race. Campos. Actually, scratch that, given the year Sebastian Montoya has had, he'll be the first one to crash. He'll drive through a wall on his way to the track or something. The Colombian is a grand driver, but so far he's had a shockingly bad 2023. Pepe Marti will need a boost after his Formula 3 title hopes fell apart, but he was much improved in his second Formula 3 campaign, could be another outsider for this one. Finally, Oliver Gerfer, the 2022 Euro Formula Champion and now a Formula 3 race winner. Big things in his future, but right now, he is error prone. And this could be another case of wait and see what he does on Macau next year. This will be a learning year for Gerfer. Campos have grabbed three very capable Formula 3 drivers for Macau. Van Amersfoort Racing. Sophia Flersch is back at Macau, so if you're in the grandstands, get ready to duck. Decent year in Formula 3 for the German, but she is not here with regular 2023 team, PHM, but Van Amersfoort, the team she raced at Macau for in 2018. This is actually her third Macau Grand Prix. She'll be looking to finish for the first time. 2023 Euro Formula champion Noel Leon joins her for the Dutch team. I think this might be a struggle for the Mexican, but it'll be interesting to see his pace compared to others. 
given he's used to racing five other cars, not 25. Finally, Tommy Smith, who could be considered and also ran. You won't see much of him unless he crashes or starts the race in a 2-2 riding a horse that's also on fire. ART Grand Prix. A very young lineup for ART. Christian Mansell is the oldest and he's only just turned 18. Technically the most experienced too, and he had a solid if unspectacular year in Formula 3. Couple of podiums and a 12th overall. A solid foundation to build off of. Lawrence Van Hopen had a pretty middling year of Formula Regional Europe, but did win the New Zealand Grand Prix earlier in the year, so can clearly win the important races if he needs to. Given how the Dutch are doing in motorsport this year, Lawrence Van Hopen should not be bet against. Nicolas Solov is 16 and I feel he's being thrust into these situations too early in his career. Yes, he easily won the 2022 Spanish F4 title, but straight into F3 was a bit of a struggle at times, and I think he'll find Macau a tough ask as well. All three of these drivers are potentially future stars, but again, like a few others on this list, they have one eye on the next Macau Grand Prix. MP Motorsport. A strong lineup from MP Motorsport, I think they might want to win this one. 2021 Formula 3 champion and Formula 2 race winner Dennis Hager is making his first attempt at Macau and on his day, he is a tough driver to beat. Marcus Armstrong has also won races in Formula 2, but now finds himself in IndyCar and he has put in some top performances there as he looks to become motorsport's next superstar Kiwi. But no New Zealand based driver has ever won Macau and in his two previous efforts he has finished 8th both times. But in 2019 he climbed the field from 17th to 8th and it's supposed to be almost impossible to overtake at Macau, so he could definitely be one to watch. Mari Boyer is also there, and he's all right, I guess. He'll be somewhere, probably. Carlin. Our final team is Carlin, and they bring two superstar drivers. Zane Maloney is a driver on the rise, runner-up in Formula 3, and he's taken several podiums in Formula 2. That first win has eluded him so far, but he could right that wrong at the final round at Abu Dhabi, and start that off with victory at Macau. But he'll have to beat teammate Dan Tictum, the two-time Macau Grand Prix winner, has more experience here than anyone else in the field. This is his fifth attempt at Macau, and he could be the first three-time winner since John McDonald over 40 years ago. And he would be my choice. Who here is going to beat Dan Tictum? That experience, albeit a few years ago, is a massive advantage at Macau. He'll know the tricks and know the dangers all too well. I don't think Formula 1 is in Dan Tictum's future, but he's doing okay in Formula E. No doubt he has the talent, and Macau win number three in 2023 is not an unrealistic fantasy. So that is the field for the 2023 Macau Grand Prix. Some really good drivers here, a nice mix of Formula 2 talent, Formula 3, and some younger guys. My only disappointment is of a lack of Asian guys in the field. They have held the race out for the last few years. Without them, it might have disappeared forever. Hon Chao Long should have at least been invited since he won two of the last three Macau Grand Prix under Formula 4 rules. I know he wouldn't match up to the majority of this field, but it would have been a nice gesture. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more motorsport. Check out all the Macau videos that have gone up this week. Leave your thoughts down below. Thank you for watching and have a good one.